With more than 100 million Americans taking to the road this holiday season, these parents are warning about a little-known danger involving car seats. Tragically, it cost their daughter her life. After little Mia was dropped off at daycare, a worker allowed the little girl to nap in the car seat. That mistake had deadly consequences. Yeah. Adorable little Mia was a dream come true for Lisa and Chad Smith. I was so excited to have a little girl. But the couple's happy world collapsed when 17-month-old Mia was found lifeless in her car seat. It didn't happen in the family car, but at daycare. This is like lightning striking our soul. This isn't something that we had any idea could possibly happen to us. It was during nap time that Mia was left unsupervised, strapped in a car seat on the floor like this. Her daycare provider, Valerie Wackerly, stepped out to a doctor's appointment. When she returned, Mia wasn't breathing. Her husband called 911. One of the babies in my wife's daycare is not breathing and her face is purple. My wife's doing PPR. Is she breathing yet? She's got bubbles coming out of her mouth. Her toes are blue. At the hospital, the prognosis was grim. The couple had no idea that Mia had been found in a car seat at daycare until cops told them. I literally chased the investigator out of the room down the hall and I asked, are you saying she was in a car seat? Mia died two days later. I fell to the floor and I just absolutely cried my heart out. The official cause of death was positional asphyxia. It's, it's basically when you don't have your head in the right position to be able to breathe. At Cook Children's Hospital in Dallas, registered nurse Sharon Evans uses a doll to illustrate how a child could suffocate. Their head can actually fall forward and block off their airway. They start moving around and they can get themselves caught or trapped. Sometimes they can slide down and something on the harness could also cause them to strangle. Evans points out that car seats are carefully designed to be used on a base and have indicators like this to help you to secure it safely in a car. They're designed for a crash. They're not designed for a child to sleep in. In court, Valerie Wackerly pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter. We knew from day one there was no malicious intent, but she made a series of wrong decisions that cost my daughter her life. Lisa and Chad are now raising two boys. They want Mia's death to be a warning to everyone. Never leave children unattended in car seats. Heartbreak doesn't even begin to describe it, to know that this was so preventable. This should never happen to any family. Yeah. Mia would have turned five this week.